Hello my fellow YouTuber! Welcome back to my channel Marcelian here at CastureGreens.com Your host. So in this video we are going to grow or germinate yard long beans. Alright guys, so today we are going to grow yard long beans which is also known for asparagus beans, a very popular Asian green beans. These vegetables are easy to grow. They are very delicious and nutritious. For those of you who haven't grown asparagus beans or haven't eaten these vegetables yet, I created this video just for you guys so you can grow asparagus beans and start eating healthy. There are three effective ways to germinate the seeds faster and I'm going to show you guys the method. But before we continue this video, I would like to make an announcement to you guys that my channel, Cashier Greens, will be soon a mixture of gardening and cooking. Yes, because our family loves to cook and loves to eat. And I thought it is a good idea for me to share our home style healthy cooking to you guys so you can copy the recipe and cook this healthy food to serve to your family. So let's get started and germinate our beans. There are three methods that you can use or apply for growing asparagus beans. These methods will allow you to speed up the germination time. The first method that we're going to use is the dome tray or the mini greenhouse. The second method is the propagating box. These methods will allow the seeds to germinate using the misting system. The third method in germinating the asparagus beans is the fog panics. This is the best method that you can use to speed up the process. And I'm going to explain it to you step by step so you can follow me on this video. The first thing you need is seeds of the asparagus beans. Select a bigger seeds because this will give you a bigger plants and more harvest. Second is soilless media. You can buy a soilless media or you can create on your own. To create on your own soil media, you need to mix 50-50, which is 50% perlites and 50% cocoa fiber. Hey, Pa, you see Marde? Yeah, sorry about 10 minutes ago. She's out there in that greenhouse making one of, the, one of them YouTube videos and all, you know. We get any subscribers today, boy? I want two today, Pa. Two? Dang nabbit. We need 10 new subscribers every single day. Or we gonna quit making these doggone videos. Hey, y'all out there watching these videos. You see that little button down there that says subscribe? Click that little button down there, man. In the meantime, son, you need to go out there and get your mom. Tell her get in here and make Pa some breakfast. I need some pancakes. Fill your tray with soilless media, like what you see here in the video. Then with your finger or pencil, create a hole a quarter of an inch deep and place your seeds. After you sow all the seeds in the tray, cover it with a uh, slightly cover with soil. After you cover the seeds, mix them.
Okay, so we missed our seeds. Now we're going to cover them with a dome. So this dome tree has a lid, has a opening. So what you need is close the lid. You need to increase the humidity inside. Humidity allows the seeds to germinate faster. All right, so we cover the tree with a dome, tree, with a dome, and then we close the lid because we need that humidity inside. So increasing the humidity inside is allowing the seeds to germinate faster. Now the next step that we're going to do is we're going to put the tray uh, at the, on the top of the temperature. Using a heat mat will increase our germination time. So what you need is to place your heat mat So place your tray on top of the uh, propagator mat so the heat mat will increase the germination process. Then after you place them, label the, the tray, label with the seeds that you propagate. Okay, so we have propagated our seeds in the dome tree. We place the tree on top of the uh, propagating mat. So we close the lid so they can increase the humidity here. And then once they germinate, we have to open this lid every now and then because we, we're going to release some of the humidity. We don't want too much humidity because this will create fungus. Using a heat mat will increase our germination time. So what you need is to place your heat mat. So place your tray on top of the uh, propagator mat. So the heat mat will increase the germination process. Then after you place them, label the, the tray, label with the seeds that you propagate. Okay, so we have propagated our seeds in the dome tray. We place the tray on top of the uh, propagating mat. So we close the lid so they can increase the humidity here. And then once they germinate, we have to open this lid every now and then because we, we're going to release some of the humidity. We don't want too much humidity because this will create fungus. 
The next method of propagating our asparagus beans is the propagation box. This propagation, you are going to place the box under the misting system. So what you need, create an imaginary line. And place your beans. The distance of the beans should be 4 inches. Because when they start growing, the root of the seedlings doesn't tangle with the another seedlings. Then cover them. So after you cover the seeds, turn on your misting system. The third method of propagating the asparagus is the fog panics. So this is the propagation that I use here in my greenhouse and this is my best propagator. So what we have it in here, we have the, uh, the fog as you can see. Then I also put the earthstone in here to create bubbles because when the roots like this one here they need oxygen so we also have the uh, heater water heater here to keep the water warm so we're going to propagate our seeds in this uh, type of propagator in my propagation uh, my propagation if i propagate seeds i use the GP, like what you see here, you just soak with water and then squeeze the remaining water. But at this time, I try to experiment something. It is good to experiment something different. So I'm not using the GP, I will use just the knit cup. The size of the knit cup here is 3 inch, and most of these uh, 3 inch cup, I already cut the hole. So I cannot use this but I can use this smaller cup but I will put something uh, tape on the top to prevent from falling down so let's uh, sow our seeds so what I'm going to do here guys I use this uh, small knit cup this is not the perfect size of the hole in here because this is 3 ends but in order for me to prevent this uh, knit cup from falling down I use the tape in here you can use any kind of tape just to secure the knit cup so when you put it in like that it doesn't fall down it prevents from this uh, tape prevents from falling this knit cup into the water okay so we secure our hole in here so again you can use any kind of tape guys I just use this black tape and I have this one here already but I'm going to add for more so what we are doing here we just put a bunch of seeds we just need to germinate them then once they start germinating we will transfer them into the garden so this is an experiment guys I haven't done this this is my first time I put like this and see how it goes I usually use the GP plug but I don't use the GP plug at this time because I want to experiment this and I will follow up you guys once this uh, seed is germinating all right so we are going to place this one here I will fix this uh, tape in here Okay, so we tape this one hole and then we put our seeds in here Okay, so this one is holding I don't have a tape in here, but this one I put tape to secure and I notice it that the fog is skipping out So what we are going to do here. We're going to cover this one to keep that fog from skipping out so I will put the insert in here 
and then I will I will check this one every now and then okay so this is the third method of propagating our seeds all right so our job is done we propagated our asparagus beans using the three waste method we put them in the dome tray and then in the misting box and the fog panics so this is the first time guys that I use the net cap by itself without the GP plug. I normally use GP plug to sow the seeds but at this time it, it's nice to create something different. So we put all of the seeds in the net cap and we will see how it goes. And I'm going to follow up with you guys and see how these seeds germinating and what time they germinate. The normal germination is 10 to 15 days. So because we are using the advanced method of germination, we can decrease the amount of time from 15 uh, days down to 7 days. And we will see. So thank you for watching. I hope this video would help you guys. And I hope you enjoy the video. If you like it, then subscribe. And don't forget to share with all your friends. And stay tuned. See you next time. Bye-bye.